Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Foster Family Fun. As you can see, we are out in the middle of a full construction site. We have a lot going on on the land. I am going to update you guys on everything that has been happening. Things are moving fast. A lot is going on and it's raining out here. So I'm going to try to get you guys a good tour really quick. But when we drove up for... I think it was yesterday. Yesterday we drove up and we saw something that really was exciting, a very exciting surprise that we were not expecting. So I want to share that with you guys. So I'm going to turn you around and show you exactly what I am talking about. So if you look right over here, that's our SUV. That's the Rory's. And you can see an electrical pole. It's a temporary electrical pole, but we have electricity out here on the land now. I'm super excited about that. Um, we have electricity out here on our lot and also on my parents' lot. So let me get you guys a little bit closer. So right now, you guys, we are actually at the front of our property. And if you look right behind me, there is an electrical pole right there and also all the way down the frontage of the property down there there's another electrical pole I'll take you guys down there but it was very important to us as you can see this was already here before we purchased the land it was very important to us that we found land that actually had electricity somewhere on it or at the street level. Now remember, this is 10.4 acres and it's undeveloped land. So no houses have been on here, no barns, no type of buildings. No one's ever developed anything on this land. But I know I'm saying this because a lot of people have asked us when we first purchased land if we were going to live off grid. And I've always said, no, we didn't plan on living off grid. That was part of one of our requirements when we were searching for land to make sure that there was electricity somewhere nearby to be ran or have something, you know, that a neighbor might have so we can easily get an electric electrical pole but thankfully for this land which was a plus a selling point for us there are two electrical poles already on our land so we didn't have to worry about that um, from the beginning we knew that we did not want to live off-grid it's just not the lifestyle for us and also you know I mean to be kind of technical about it I really never feel like people truly live off grid i know some people do but you know when you have internet and stuff that is a grid itself that's an internet grid it's just different than an electrical grid so you know we plan on having electricity <laughs> we plan on having internet um, we pretty much plan on living the same way that we live now in the subdivision is that we're just going to be doing it with a lot more privacy on our own land now, I'm not opposed to getting um, solar panels. So I've actually, you know, looked into that, researched that a little bit. So I would say maybe in about three to five years, we might actually get some type of solar put out here. Um, but solar is very, very expensive. So we're just not at that stage right now. We need to save up some more money in order to be able to get solar. Because if we do get solar, I want it to be so that the entire house can run on solar. You know, it's a little bit different to get like fencing and, you know, some outdoor lighting here and there with solar. But when we do switch over to solar, you know, we need it to be on a larger scale so that our entire house can run on solar and another thing that we are going to get is a generator so we will have a whole house generator that will be installed before we move into our house but i'm taking you guys down here to first see where my parents electrical pole is now as we go down here this down here is where they're having their house built 
and you can see some of the structures back there. I will give you a full tour of what they have going on. But as we continue, we're still walking down the frontage of our land. The more and more I'm out here and I'm walking down the front, I feel like, oh my goodness, this front is kind of long. I get kind of winded out here. <laughs> So right here, where you see the pink ribbon around it, this is the other electrical pole that is on our property. And actually, when we had our parents one acre drawn out, we didn't even think about it. We just <laughs> had it drawn out, thinking, okay, they're going to be towards the back of the property just to make it a little bit easier just to draw it an acre but it was perfect because now they have their own electrical pole on their land so if you look all the way down here all the way down that's the electrical pole for our area all of this is the frontage and where that electrical pole is that's not even the start of the frontage of our land that's just the start of where we decided to build our house so I think they just recently installed this electricity and this is temporary so I'm trying to put you guys up high into the sky but right here you can see the line running all the way to the pole that they had installed back there and it is it has a meter it's temporary just for now so they will use this when they are building um, doing the construction site and stuff but eventually when they're getting everything ready for us they actually run the electrical lines underground for our houses so that's my parents electrical outlet and I'm gonna take you back to ours okay so we're back in the front this is the electrical pole um, for our house and you can see the line it goes all the way to the temporary pole that they have down here Here's a temporary pole and then they have more line down to another temporary pole which is right in front of the SUV. So I'm going to get Rory to put his hand up on the box <laughs> because the boxes do have our address on it and I don't want you guys to be able to see that but here it is right here. It's just what is this? This the is the meter. meter. Mm -hmm. This is just the meter and then the box and then on the side of the box it has if I can open it the outlets on it and then on the other side of the box it has the same thing just outlets on it and there you have it and it says right here, it's our temporary meter pole and it's already been inspected by the county and everything. And so this is what we will have until while they're building. So they'll have electricity out here, which is great until it's time to get the electricity put on our house. And then they will run the lines underground and then we'll actually we won't even have this temporary pole or anything. The meter will actually be attached to our house. So that's pretty much it. That was a very delightful, unexpected surprise that we encountered when we drove up on the land during this visit and we're excited about it. Like I said, having the electricity already at the street line was a positive for us. That was one of the check 
tick marks for the reason why we purchased this land along with you know other things and for us right now at this stage in our life at this stage in the game living off grid is just not for us we definitely from the beginning when we were looking for land we already knew that we did not want to live off grid um, we plan on having electricity we plan on having internet now we will have some um, self-contained um, utilities because I told you guys we're going to have our own septic tank and we will have our well as well so I'll give you a tour to show you a little bit more and talk to you guys about that in the next video but for right now we are excited with the process things are moving along quickly and we will continue to bring you guys along with us on our journey so if you haven't done so already go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future foster family fun videos thanks for watching